okay uh, today we are going to demonstrate you the uh, uh, anatomical video of testis so this is the testis uh, first we will learn how to hold the testis in the anatomical position so you must have to learn some things about it this is the testis has got an anterior border this is the anterior border of testis and uh, this is the posterior border which is covered by epididymis posterior border is not shown here it is being covered by epididymis and this is the sharp anterior border testis has got two surfaces a medial and a lateral surface this is the lateral surface uh, where the uh, uh, the duct of epid uh, the epididymis the body of the epididymis is running along the lateral surface and this is the tail of epididymis this is the this is the tail this one is the tail of epididymis this is the body and this is the head so the head uh, and the body of the epididymis will be along the lateral surface and this is the medial surface you can see uh, the epididymis the, uh, the tail and the body is not present here so you must uh, keep this thing in mind that the lateral surface is present continuous with the uh, body and head or tail of the testis so now how would you hold it anatom in anatomical position you have to keep the lateral surface in front like this so this is the anatomical position of a testis uh, as you can see this is the left side left side so this is the testis of the left side so this is the side determination and uh, anatomical position of the testis if i will hold it in this direction you can see now the medial surface will be anterior this is wrong so you must keep the lateral surface anterior so this is the anatomical position of a testis and this is the left one now i will show you uh, something about the spermatic cord we have cut it from the cadaver so we can uh, show you something this is the spermatic cord and uh, in the spermatic cord you know that uh, there are three layers the external spermatic fascia the cremastric fascia along with the loops of the cremastric muscle and the internal spermatic fascia this is the external spermatic fascia the uppermost layer you can clearly appreciate this is the uppermost layer this is the external spermatic fascia now the cremastric fascia cremastric fascia is a very thin layer it is uh, uh, in some uh, uh, specimens it is not very clear and uh, in some it, it is clear but uh, in our specimen you can appreciate this muscular layer like this this one this is the cremastric fascia along with the loops of the cremastric muscle it is going downward here yeah. look it is going downward okay so this is the cremastric fascia and the innermost layer is the internal spermatic fascia now you can clearly appreciate this tube like structure this thin tube like structure this is ductus deferens this one this ductus deferens is ascending from the posterior side of the testis with that along with the tail of epididymis it is ascending upward and it will run in the spermatic cord this is the ductus deferens this tube you can also see here these are the blood vessels and more probably it may be the pampiniform plexus these are the blood vessels of the spermatic cord so this is all about the spermatic cord now you cannot see the nerves and uh, uh, those other structures uh, because they are very thin and they are, cannot be see seen with the naked eye so this is the uh, spermatic cord now i will show you the epididymis this is epididymis this is the head of epididymis this is the head this is the body of epididymis and this is the tail these are the three structures which are present in the epididymis epididymis is a tube uh, organ that consists of the highly coiled tubules uh, and in these tubules the sperms are stored actually uh, they are flowing from the seminiferous tubules into the epididymis through various 
tubule like structures and in the tubules of epididymis they are being stored so this is the and one thing that is very clear here this one this is the sinus of epididymis this base is the sinus of epididymis and this is the you know the epididymis is being connected to the testis by this thing this is the appendix this thing is the appendix okay this uh, these uh, this is the external this includes the external feature of the testis and one thing is this layer this layer is the tunica vaginalis the parietal layer of the tunica vaginalis this layer is the parietal layer of tunica vaginalis similar on this side this is tunica vaginalis and the visceral layer is continuous with the testis you cannot separate it out it is continuous with the testis okay so this is all about the external features of the testis